Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 425. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Hey, it's a Sunday fun day. It is the 15th day of December, so you only got 10 shopping days left before Christmas. we got a big day today. Uh, it's a work day. It's time to go, so let's do this. But before we do, I know that in the comments yesterday, I mentioned that 424, yesterday was 424, um, was also the uh, condo number of the condo that I lived in in Phoenix, Arizona when I met the half-breed that we talked about in 423. Huh? Back to back. It's kind of fun. So 425, I don't have anything fun about that number. Didn't look either. Um, but it doesn't matter. We're going to do this anyway. So first things first, I'm still the real. So we got a new page today, and I am a fan. Short for fanatic. Uh, the reason I talk about that is I'm going to cheer for my children. Um, you know, yesterday we had a couple basketball games. The the second basketball game, the boys basketball, sixth grade boys in Glenpool. So we got to drive an hour to go down there and just no energy, right? No energy, no energy from the kids, no energy from the huddle, no energy from the, and I'm like, I'm, I'm just sick of this. So I'm sitting there kind of taking it all in and I brought cookies, right? hand out cookies to all of our friends, uh, the fellow parents, and just, there's only one person that's really making any noise, and that's Aunt Phyllis. Now, I don't, I'd, I'd seen Aunt Phyllis around, but I didn't know her. Um, and then <laughs> one of Aunt Phyllis's nieces was like, you're embarrassing me. And I'm sitting like in close proximity to Aunt Phyllis, I'm thinking, Aunt Phyllis is saying all the same things I do. So Aunt Phyllis goes down the front row, guess who goes down there with her? me? And that means Sam and, or Jack and Addie are coming down there with me. So the shit show moves down to the front, and I start getting loud. Now, look, they got smoked. They didn't get smoked. They got beat. They got beat soundly, but they played better than they did before. Sam had all that drama that we were talking about, and I was super proud of him, the way he handled himself. He's fiery just like me, got in a couple scuffles, uh, but he played well. And uh, anyway, so my point is that... Uh, you know, Aunt Phyllis inspired me. It's okay to be a fan, right? Like, you, we need to cheer for our children. We put all this pressure on them, uh, and it's not just me. I see everybody do this to tell their kids, go out, try hard, leave it all on the court, blah, 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 and then they just sit there and look at them. Like, well, you're going to give them some encouragement or what? So I'm going to be a fan. Hope you do too. If you come to a game, you can come sit by Aunt Phyllis and I, and we'll make some noise, all right? Uh, my thank yous are for the progress that I've seen in my children. Yeah, yeah, especially talking about competing. So Addison, we talked about earlier in the week where, you know, addition, it was a great pass. I mean, I just flipped it. You know how, like, when you, you ha you're playing basketball or even football and you can just feel the ball leave your fingertips that very last second, and you know it's going to go exactly where – that pass was beautiful, right? <laughs> Until it smacks Sissy right in the face. And then Aunt, and then my sister Liz says, hey, do you remember when I did the same thing – or you did the same thing to me? No, but apparently I'm a good passer. Anyway – since that moment in time, Addie has completely changed the way she plays basketball. She's now tough. She's a she's a real good defender. Like there, very few people are going to outwork Addie, and we're just getting started. This is our second game, so I'm super proud of her, and I'm super proud of proud of Sam. Yesterday morning, I had to convince him we're going to that game. We're not going to quit, right? Just because of we're just not going to do it, right? Even though I was the first one to be like f them, we're out, right? Win the battle but lose the war. So he showed up. He played well. Hostile environment. People talking shit from the stands at one point. And look, I don't like it when he does this, but at one point he was <laughs> going to the free throw line and gave it a little shh to the, to the fans, bro. Anyway, all right, so let's run this back, right? Sunday, fun day. Let's talk about what we learned this week. So uh, I watched a uh, documentary, I know that's shocking, on Lindsey Vaughn. Anybody know who Vin Lindsey Vaughn is? Because Addie and I do. All right, well, she's the greatest American skier of all time. It's not even close. And she grew up in a skiing family. She grew up in Wisconsin. Her dad was a, maybe uh, Minnesota. I don't know. It doesn't matter. One of those cold states. And uh, her family's actually from Sweden. You can tell by talking to them. Anyway, long story short, she had her sights on the career record. She's like, I'm going to win. I am going to hold the record for the most World Cup victories ever. You know what? She got hurt, right? And so they're watching this, and everybody that talks to her, like, you're the greatest of all time. And she's like, no, no, you don't understand. I had a goal. This was my goal. My goal was I was going to win that. 
She never did get it. And they're filming this as this is going down. Very emotional for her, you know, because she got hurt. And she got hurt because she skis on the edge, right? And sometimes when you're on the edge, you end up in the wall. And so um, not only was it just eye-opening and heartbreaking to see somebody that worked that hard and had their, their, their end goal in sight, like, I can't physically get there. It's over. And so she finished up. And her last run uh, of World Cup competition was amazing. She ended up getting third place, all things considered. So she taught us how to never quit and how to finish, right? Speaking of which, and loosely connected, because a couple of years ago, Lindsey Vaughn's boyfriend was who? Yes, Eldrick Tiger Woods, who had a great day yesterday. So on Friday morning, I'm getting ready, and I got Golik and Wingo on, and Trey Wingo, whom I love, by the way, um, is a huge, he is a huge golf fan. And he, he took the American President's Cup team to task, right? Just complaining, right? Like out of character for him, just going after people saying, do your job. They all did their job. Yes, they came back from the most ever. It was awesome seeing Tiger in that a moment. So again, Tiger in 2019 came back. Everybody thought he was done, won the Masters, played and was captain in the President's Club, but it came back. Great, great year for Tiger. Never quit knowing how to finish. Those two. Wow. Can you imagine if they would have had a baby? Holy shit. Anyway, uh, Green Bay Packers. Got a big game today. Hosting the Bears. And so if you think about think about what where the Packers were one year ago, right? Let's have some perspective. They had Mike McCarthy, who'd won a Super Bowl. They, everybody knew that it wasn't working. They probably held on a couple years too long. They get rid of him, bring in somebody new. And today, if they win today, um, if they win out, right, there's three games left. Uh, they're going to be favored in two of three games. If they win out, they'll have a home playoff uh, game and a bye. This is a team that missed the playoffs last year and had to fire their coach. So, again, what, what's the point is once you know you have a leadership problem, the, the people that that leader has been leading have known that for quite some time. you got to take action, like, immediately. Um yeah, um, Addison's toughness, right? Like that none of us realize how tough we are and what we can. It, we, we are way tougher than we give ourselves credit for. Super proud of her um, in the NBA right now. So NBA, the MVP last year was a young man. We've talked about him, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Very difficult name. Let's co just call him Giannis, right? Greek freak. Um, won it, but he was quite upset because of the way they lost in the playoffs. Uh, against the, the 76ers. And the 76ers have a guy on their team, Joel Embiid, who might be one of the most entertaining guys in the NBA and has, you know, he's got a lot of God-given just, like, ability. But the problem is, is he doesn't seem to be as serious about it as Giannis. So a couple of the old guys have taken him to test. Like, bro, you want to be MVP, Giannis, or excuse me, Joel Embiid and, um, you know, Jochik, Jokic. Go chick guy from the, the, the nuggets. Anyway, both of them, big guys playing real well, but neither one of them took a step up in the offseason, right? They're just kind of the same. And look, that's okay. Like if you want to be just another guy that plays in the NFL or whatever it is that you do, then don't try to get any better, right? You'll just, you can be very, very good for a very long time. And that look, but you're never going to get into that next room. You'll never go to the elite status if you don't get any better. Whereas Giannis, clearly has been working on his game and that team like they're, they're setting records for most games in a row. all right last thing that we learned this week let's talk about some more football and talk about the heisman so they they announced the heisman last night joe burrow the the quarterback from uh, lsu won graduate transfer so he transferred i don't know if he's a graduate transfer but he transferred from ohio state university down to lsu uh to play with coach o so we talked about coach edward orgeron and so, anyway, um, just watching the highlights of that last night, you know, Joe got emotional talking about how Coach Ed changed his life. Coach Ed got emotional, you know, hearing this kid talk about him. And um, that, there's just a couple things there. One, don't ever give up, right? Like, this is all these. Don't ever give up. Learn how to finish and then find your people. And that goes for Joe, Joe Burrow. Like, Joe Burrow had to leave Ohio where he thought his people were and had to go to LSU to find some people that would embrace him, treat him like he's one of his own. 
And then he just thrived, right? It's like Jack going to, to PTI. You got to find your people. And when you do, when you do, you never quit and you learn how to finish. With that, we're done. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you stopping by on a Sunday fun day. I think the Packers are going to win today. I think it's going to be a good game, but I think they'll figure it out in the end. Um, but who knows? Those teams always play each other well. Today is great football day today. Um, and we'll be making cookies over here. It's going to be cold up here. We've got some last-minute Christmas shopping to do. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. We'll be back tomorrow on a Manic Monday. Deuces. Love you.